Take a bite impression with the Trios 3 shape scanner for a sleep appliance. This would actually probably work for any scanner that you use uh, that can take a full mouth bite. The part I use is the Airway Metrics jigs. With the Airway Metrics jigs, we can actually get a bite registration that we can separate into two pieces. Some of the other bite registrations, you can't really do that as well. Airway Matrix makes this very easy to use. This is a standard jig. Uh, this is a six millimeter with uh, four millimeters or six millimeter end to end. In our case, we're gonna be using six millimeters end to end to start. You put the fork on there and the handle just like you would for any bite registration that you're taking with the Airway Matrix. You put it into the teeth, having the patient bite into it in the, like in this case, the end to end. And you can see the fork is inside here along the teeth. That's along the center uh, groove of the teeth, mandibular maxilla. I like to use Regisil Rigid. You could use uh, any kind of fast set uh, polyvinyl, polyoxaline, uh, like Blue Moose, any of these would work. Just Regisil is this, uh, the one I prefer to use. Inject the Regisil on both the upper part of the tray, squeezing underneath the teeth and then under the lower part of the tray, making sure to get extra coverage over the facial buckle surfaces. It doesn't have to look pretty, just has to fill that in real nice. You want to go on both sides the same identical way, squeezing in nice and hard on both sides. You don't need to go into the front for this particular because we're scanning. This is what it looks like when it came out. This could have been a little bit squeezed in a little bit more, but we were running a little bit low on the, the uh, pressure material. But squeeze it in. You want to get it both looking like this on both sides. And you're going to take and pull the handle out, pull this particular uh, jig out, and then you will cut with a razor blade or a pair of scissors, I think I use scissors, cut right down the middle into two halves. So right down that middle, you're gonna cut that down the middle into two halves. So you have one side and then another side. Put one side into the patient's mouth and it slides right in where they bite right back into that same position. Don't do it on both sides, just put it on one side at a time. So here you can see one side here and then the other side is not done. And then you take your scanner and you scan that side of the mouth all the way through to here where you don't have the jig and capture, stop, and then go and do the other side as well. And there you have it. That is the simplicity of taking the impression.